All right, good morning, guys. We've got race number two of the Mississippi Gravel Cup uh, 2022 edition. So uh, we're getting ready to pull into Camp Shelby, just uh, a little bit south of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. It is a military establishment, and they've been pretty cool about uh, letting us have a big gravel race. So uh, the sun's just, just coming up. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I've got Misha with me, and we've got uh, the adventure van packed down because after the race, I think we're going to camp out. Even though, if you look, it says 25 degrees. So for South Mississippi, this is uh, very cold. Um, but we're still going to go gravel race, and we'll see how South Mississippians uh, prepare for, for a gravel race. So anyway, we are, we're getting ready to pull into the entrance of uh, Camp Shelby. Do you have your ID with you, Misha? Because we have to show ID to get in there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> My eyes just got really big. And to, uh, to respect this military establishment, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have the camera out. Um, I don't know how they feel about that stuff, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the camera away. And hopefully we can catch the 100 mile guys start. They start at seven, so we got about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Camp Shelby. Well, we don't see this often in South Mississippi, but uh, Landon Voller here has got the bar mitts on his bike. He's, uh, he's getting ready to, to hammer out 100 miles. We, we got ice forming on the seat over here, man. So this is definitely gonna be an, uh, an interesting race for us. Oh yeah. We're gonna, go, uh, we're gonna go inside to pack a pickup and see what Jason's doing and uh, you know, pick up my packet, I guess, since we didn't make it up here last night. And then uh, we're going to go set up uh, the Biloxi Bicycle Works Arch. Hopefully they've, they've got it set up, but I want to check on things. Landon, good luck, man. Thanks, man. All right, guys, we're here to get the, get the start of the 100 milers. Those guys are getting ready to line up down there. And we are in uh, very, very cold temperatures. So there's the crux right there. We got Blake Thompson over here. I need you to um, carry all these uh, nutrition and stuff. Okay. Yeah. To Adam. All right. I'm there. All right, guys. We're here at the uh, where we're gonna set up. Um, of course, it's 20 something degrees, and I've got my shirt off because I just had to hit the porta potty. So thank you for you know providing the porta potty, Jason. Um, this is where the the race is going to kind of split up. The 100 mile guys and the 50 mile guys are going to go through here at a different spot. And we're waiting for uh, for Adam, one of the guys that works at the shop with us, to uh, come so we can set up the generator and the porta potties and um, the arch and race support. So anyway, guys, we're going to show you a little bit more film as uh, as we get going. But the porta potty was actually frozen in there, um, just like my water bottles. It is cold in South Mississippi today, and we're going to gravel race. Stay tuned. Whew, my hands are cold. I was just putting on my race plate. Thanks, uh, Ordinary Epics, for providing such cool custom plates. And uh, we're out here getting set up. So the 100 mile guy should be rolling through here. I have a feeling I, they've probably already rolled through here. Oh, and this was only about four miles into the course. But we're, we're set up now. We've got the Biloxi Bicycle Works Arch up. And everybody's got the got the food the drinks the snacks the water the tools the uh, um, swag bags so we're we're good to go i guess i'm getting ready to head back up to the the start of the race so i can get my race started and uh, we'll check back with the biloxi bicycle works tent and crew here a little bit later the other bottle of fireball is in all right misha yeah. and adam thanks for all the help out here rock and roll uh they've got us set up with all kinds of snacks um the all-important fireball and the shots that go with it. Of course, we've got a cooler of just uh, water and Gatorade. Um, we've got the, everything we need, so all we need is some races to come through. Um, I'm supposed to be a racer here pretty shortly, so I'm going to go back up uh, and get myself ready. Thank you, Misha. Thank you, Adam. Go get them, guys. Don't pass Mike Poole. 
right, this is Pay attention to the, the course markings on the way out, out so you run. know how to come back. Pete Ferrey! Roger Felix! In the house! Go get him, guys! 100 milers heading on out. Camp Shelby. This is a beautiful facility right here. Can't wait to, to get racing today. And there's uh there's the hundred mile guys heading out right there. All right, baby. Glad that fair open that get the mix.
go. Hattiesburg. All right. Oh, yes. Winfair, Belusi, Bicycle Works, being chased in by Townsend Meyer. And Charles Moore. Oh, I came in the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, hey, this is a got it's lost a again. Place. Yeah, yeah, I got lost a couple times. Yeah. Right when it really didn't need to happen. Because yeah. I, I got. Well, I can't feel my fingers. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I know what my felt like after 25. I can't imagine what it feels like now. Man. Hi, oh, hey guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, guys, Bart with Bicycle Rider YouTube, and we are on Camp Shelby. Uh, you can look around, there's a plethora of tanks and helicopters, all kinds of memorabilia. Um, actually, where we had the gravel race today is uh, on uh, Armed Forces Museum. It's really cool. I think Misha might even take the camera, so we'll get some footage of the museum. But uh, Camp Shelby is a very cool place. Um, you do have to show an ID to get in here, but I'm so happy that they let us gravel ride from here. You never feel like your car is going to get broken into here. And people act decent out on those gravel roads. And speaking of gravel roads, there is hundreds of miles of glorious gravel out here. It is fantastic. We just finished racing, so uh, we're getting ready to go up there, get some food, and say hi to everybody. But uh, I wanted to talk about the essence of gravel racing. It, it is such a good sport. It really, you know, um, shows showcases camaraderie athletes working together and caring about each other. Um, I took my little GoPro Hero 6 with me on my handlebars today. One of my good friends, Katie Bolton, um, her and her husband own a bicycle shop over in uh, uh, Fairhope, Alabama, um, Pro Cycle, and uh, I saw Katie go over her bars today. When that happened, um, several people stopped to check on her. So that's just, a, you know, it shows you in gravel racing, people care about each other. Um, I heard uh, I heard Katie was over at the um, the fireball uh, place getting a few fireball shots, so I, I think she's okay. All right, Katie, I know you're a tough girl. I can't wait to hear the story about it, and I think I've caught it all on camera here. So uh, also on camera, you'll see quite a bit of uh, racing action. Of course, my hands were frozen. We started off this morning in literally freezing temperatures. Um, my my partner uh, business partner general manager of the shop Blake Thompson said that he couldn't even get a drink out of his water bottle because his water bottle was frozen but you know it's midday now it's about 50 degrees it's glorious out here um, I only drank one bottle I've got a full bottle so I need to get some calories in me because that race just took it all out of me um, I'll try to recap it later but I do want to thank uh, Townsend Myers um, him and I uh, made a navigation error together after we had kind of pulled away and um, we had to dig deep to catch back up with the group. Um, we didn't catch everybody, but we did catch um, a few people towards the end. So thank you, Townsend, for, for digging deep with me. We, we worked good. We traded poles um, real well together. So uh, Townsend's a really talented, strong rider and uh, definitely a, a guy that's not scared to work. So thanks, Townsend. Um, really, the, the gravel community is such a, a fun community. Um, the racing here is very competitive, but we saw a lot of first-timers, a lot of beginners, a lot of people with their families, you know, out here. So, so just know, don't be intimidated of the gravel racing scene. We will welcome you with open arms. It doesn't matter what level you're on, and we will help you get through it. Um, there's a lot of camaraderie that goes on in gravel racing. Um, I own uh, Biloxi Bicycle Works. We are one of the sponsors of this race and we were able to do race support which was really fun so we did have a tent and a big arch out there and fireball shots and food and snacks and i don't know if uh, anybody's bike broke down but we had a mechanic out there with some tools so it's super fun to support this this type of community this type of an event i really love it and uh thank you guys for joining me uh, on the on the journey i'll get some footage and we'll throw it up there and see what kind of video we can make out of this all right camp shelby